everybody, this is Diana from So Very Crafty, and we are here today to make a Cricut Maker 3 dust cover. And I have uh, created this project with my brand new Cricut Maker in mind. And it came out way better than I expected, so I decided to share it with you today. If you have a Cricut Maker or maybe one of the other Cricut machines, the long ones, um, this dust cover should work for you. It is a super simple beginner sewing project that anybody can make. It's got pockets in the front to store your tools and whatnot, and it slips right up over the Cricut Maker 3. So with that in mind, I hope that you enjoy this project today. It is a fun one. I chose some fun fabrics for mine. Um, you can choose whatever you want, but as long as it's basic cotton, it should work just fine for you. So if you enjoyed this project, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ding that bell for notifications so that you get further So Very Crafty videos in your inbox whenever they come out. Now, how do we get started on this? Well, the first thing that we're going to need is some outer fabric, some lining fabric, and some interfacing. And I've chosen this flower fabric for today because I had it on, 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 uh, on hand. And what I've done is I've cut a rectangle that measures 21 and a half inches by 18 inches. I then measured out for the pockets 21 and a half inches by four and a half inches. And that's going to give me my pockets. And I made an outer piece and a lining piece. Now, on the outer piece, I also made a lining piece that measures the same dimensions, and I made it out of this pink. I also have made the sides. <coughs> and there is a pattern piece that comes with this that will um, allow you to make the ends of your Cricut Maker dust cover. And I made this out of outer fabric and lining fabric. And the final thing that I did was I cut a four inch by eight and a half inch piece of outer fabric to use for the handle of my project. And that's all there is to this Cricut Maker project is just these few pieces of fabric. Now, if you have a Cricut Maker and you're not making this for somebody else, you can actually make these ends on your Cricut Maker with the sewing mat, the pink sewing mat. I decided just to cut these out because I don't know how many of you have a Cricut and how many of you don't. But once we have that, we just need to get started on putting this together. And to do that, I'm going to start with the pocket pieces. I'm going to set these other things aside and I am going to place my outer piece and my lining piece right sides together. And I'm just going to stitch right along the top using a one quarter inch seam allowance. And that's it for the this part of the project. So let me run over and just draw, uh, run a stitch right across the top. I'm going to flip it over so that the lining is on the inside, press it, and I'm going to top stitch just along the top to secure this. And I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have created what is going to be the pocket piece. And I'm going to take my large outer fabric and I'm going to place this right sides or wrong sides together with the lining down. And 
and I'm just going to stitch this together using uh, three lines, actually two lines. I'm going to measure out how these lines, however big I want my pockets to be, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to measure this and we know that this is 21 and a half inches. So we can take this, divide by three, and get about seven and a three quarter inches. And I'm just gonna place a pin right here and another seven and three quarter inches. And I'm just going to draw, I'm just going to stitch some straight lines right down here. And that's going to divide this pocket piece into three separate pockets. So let me run over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch two lines down and we'll be right back. Okay, so now I have made my pockets. There will be pockets here and a pocket here. And now it's time for me to add on the ends. And the way we're going to do that is we're just going to place this end so that the straight edge is on the bottom of our project. And I'm going to pin this together. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold this pattern piece around the outer fabric, pinning as I go. Now you could clip these curves if you want to, but they're kind of gentle curves, so I didn't bother. And I'm going to repeat that process for the other end of my project. And I should remind you that I added some interfacing to all of the outer fabric pieces. And I used P uh, Pellon SF101 to do that. And now we are going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch these edges together. And that way we have the beginnings of our dust cover. So let's head over to the sewing machine and do that. Now here we are at the sewing machine and I have my Cricut Maker dust cover with the ends pinned on. I'm going to then stitch these, making sure that I'm catching the lining and the both of the pocket pieces um, on this as I go. And I'm using about a one quarter inch seam allowance here.
you can see once we turn this right sides out that we have a nice end to our project. Now I'm going to repeat this process for the other side of this dust cover and then we'll head back over to the workstation and move on to our next step. Okay, so now I have created my basic dust cover. And as you can see, we've got our pockets here and we have our ends on just the way they need to be. Now that I'm going to do a lining that I made in exactly the same way, but without the pockets. So you just put the ends on and wrap the fabric around the ends, stitch, and you are done with the lining. I've already done that here, but I will tell you that I left an opening right here in my lining so that I could turn this right sides out when it's time. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place this lining piece over the outer piece. I'm going to match these seams on the ends. Let me just put a pin there. And you will notice by doing it this way that the, pat, the lining and the outer piece are right sides together. And I'm just going to place some pins here so that these bottom raw edges are aligned. Now that I have this right sides together, I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch all the way around the bottom. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I have added the lining by stitching all the way around the bottom. And now I'm going to turn this right sides out through this opening that I left in the lining. Okay, so now I have my lining and my outer dust cover attached. The next thing you want to do is to close up this opening. And you can either use ladder stitch or your machine. It doesn't really matter because um, this is going to be on the inside. I'm not going to do that right now. We're just going to move on to our next step. We're going to stuff this lining inside of our outer dust cover. And I'm going to take some wonder clips and I'm just going to clip this. You can use pins if you like. Now that I have all of the lining clipped to the outer fabric, I'm going to head back over to the sewing machine and I am going to stitch all the way around again to secure this lining. Also, while I'm over at the sewing machine, I'm going to make the handle for our dust cover. And we have this four inch by eight and a half inch piece of fabric that we are just going to fold the raw edges to the middle, press it with a hot iron, fold it again, press it with a hot iron, and then we're gonna fold under these raw edges at the bottom. And it'll be a little easier to do once it's pressed. And then we're just going to fold this in half. And we have nice edges on the bottom and edges on the side. And we are simply going to top stitch this on both sides for a nice finished look. And this is going to act as our handle to our dust cover. So let me run over to the sewing machine real quick and take care of these things and we'll come back and move on to our next step. Okay, so we have this uh, all 
put together and now it's time to put our handle on and this is the handle as you can see it's got no raw edges and we're ready just to stitch it on now what i'm going to do in order to keep this lining where i want it is i'm going to stitch through the top and through the lining when I put this handle on. So I'm just going to find the center of my project and that's easy enough to do by just folding it in half. And we're going to find the center and then we're going to fold it in half again and I'm just going to clip right there and that's pretty much the center of the top of our dust cover and I am going to then place my handle right in the middle just like that I'm going to add a couple of pins and I'm going to stitch a little box right around the bottoms of these, or the ends of these, uh, this handle, and we'll be able to take our handle off just like that. So let me run over to the sewing machine and we'll take care of that. As you can see, we are here at the sewing machine and I am going to start my little box right here on the corner of the previous stitching. I'm just going to stitch a box. And that's one side done. Now let's do the other side and we will be finished with this project. So let's just get rid of some of these uh, strings and we have finished with our project. So let's see if it fits. Here is my Cricut Maker 3. And here's my dust cover, and there you have it. A perfectly fit Cricut Maker 3 dust cover. Although I did uh, stitch on the handle a little crooked, but that's okay. We can fix that. But that's it, that's all there is. And as you can see, we have handles, or we have pockets here for all of our things. If we want to stick them in there they will stay and it's just a terrific little project that we've done today I hope you enjoyed it this was super simple just use the pattern piece for the ends and follow the measurements and you'll be just fine so I hope you enjoyed this Cricut Maker dust cover project today it's a simple one and if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and ding that bell for notifications. And if you want this and other sewing and crafting projects that you won't see here on the YouTube channel, head over to the blog at www.soverycrafty.com for tons and tons of other uh, tutorials uh, for sewing and for crafting. And now I'm gonna be starting doing to do some Cricut things once I become more familiar with my Cricut Maker. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.